Your Royal Highness Prince Henry, Your Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs, Lena Esperson, Your Excellency Dr. Antoine, dear guests. I would like to thank the Minister of Foreign Affairs for this announcement. It's an honor for me to be ambassador of historical relation for Middle East and the Arab world. And it is a, a respect. This respect has always been my goal since I arrived to Denmark. The Royal Danish Expedition have discovered many human values from about 15 countries in the Middle East and the Arab world, including my native country, Egypt. Those human values was the only qualification which I had had in my luggage when I arrived to Denmark. When I arrived to Denmark without education, no knowledge of languages and no money in my pocket. Denmark made it possible for Kasten Nibon to develop the knowledge of the area where I came from. The area was the meeting point for different civilizations and religions. In the same way, Denmark gave me the opportunity to, to discover the Danish values and a lot of achieve, achievement and to be standing here today. In my opinion, Denmark have achieved one of the highest living standards in the world without having natural resources and without benefits from other foreign countries. These reasons for Denmark's success was only the human resources development and the education system we have here. Today we see new steps in the Middle East. I'm sure that Denmark can be a role model for many of these countries and their governments to develop cooperation in order to create a better future for each inhabitant and country, exchanging knowledge for the benefit of both parties. From today, I will use my experience, my mind, my soul and my heart and my hands to continue the aim of the Royal Danish Expedition. I want to support relation and the image between Denmark and the part of the world where my roots are. This work is more needed today than ever before. I have a Danish mind, I have an Egyptian heart, and I'm always will be so in the future. I will continue and we will continue together from here to have a new mission and a new vision for the best of the future for the both part of the world. Thank you again for this honor. I wish you a pleasant afternoon. Hadrik Gott, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.